Welcome to our 8 ways to boost web traffic. In this video, we'll look at getting free traffic from Google News. There are a number of ways you can get free traffic from Google News. And Google News is, of course, at news.google.com. And it's important to note that you don't have to be at ABC or CNN to get a considerable number of visitors from Google News. To give you an example, if I use the site command, site colon, to search for the site's contents, I'm going to search for how many pages from the following site are in Google News. And the site is Search Engine Roundtable. So let's see how many pages from Search Engine Roundtable are in Google News. Okay, 75. And it's worth noting that Google News only keeps news articles, as far as I'm aware, from the last 30 days. So there are 75 articles from this site in the last 30 days. And this site, Search Engine Roundtable, is specifically for the search engine industry and it's a blog with news and articles. And obviously, they submitted, or they suggested to Google News, that their site would be a good news source, and Google approved it. So if your site gets approved as a Google News source, you can get a lot of traffic, a lot of visitors. Well, visitors from people visiting Google News. And actually, if I go into the front of Google News, okay, I've gone to the front page of Google News, and I've gone into, or I've scrolled down to the bottom, rather, and the link we're interested in is About Google News. So if we click that, and this is quite a long page, so I'll scroll down. At this time, number 26, what if I don't see my favorite news source in Google News? You can get in touch with them here and suggest a news source. It's okay here. I want to recommend a news source. So obviously, if your site does have news and is up to date, and maybe even is, you know, it may perhaps help if your site is industry-specific rather than a general news site. So if your site, if you think your site is relevant for Google News, then there's no harm at all in suggesting it for a Google News source. However, if you don't have such a site currently set up, then it can be quite a lot of work to get one set up and keep it updated regularly. And it is a possibility that Google won't approve a site that's brand new. Obviously, a site that's been around longer has more authority generally, so that may be something to keep in mind. However, okay, let me just open up a new tab. And press release sites such as prweb.com You can submit your press release for free here, and it doesn't even need to be particularly professionally written. Whenever I, well, in my experience, whenever I've submitted press releases, they're reviewed by editors, so they don't allow absolutely anything into their press release database. But it doesn't have to be professional, just a few paragraphs. You can use the format of the press releases you see here, and you can literally write one in 5, 10, or maybe 15 minutes. I think it took me maybe 10 minutes to write a press release and submit it to PR Web. And you may possibly get some publicity by submitting a press release here. And you may get some people who see your press release and then visit your site. But another benefit is, if you go back to Google News, okay, if we use the site command again, 
but this time search for all pages within Google News that are from prweb.com. And as you can see, over 5,000 results, 5,000 pages from PR Web in the last 30 days. So that means, well, just looking through these makes it clear. Press releases submitted to PR Web also appear in Google News. So that may tell you that just by submitting a press release that way, you may get even more traffic through Google News, as I mentioned. And you get publicity from it, and other people may view it as well. For example, reporters looking for certain stories. And actually, another site you may want to submit press releases to is prleap.com. Okay, and there are just under a thousand pages from PR Leap in the last 30 days. So those are some ways you can use Google News to get a lot more free traffic to a site of yours.